I'm in Adelaide with the famous Jeb Brooks YouTuber extraordinaire. I've been showing him all the sites, but it's time to leave. I've got to fly. What did you think of Adelaide? I love it, and I am not flying out. I'm sticking around because this city is amazing. If you haven't been, come down here soon. That only cost me 20 bucks for him to say that. Now, I'm going on holiday. I'm going to Seoul, Korea. Flying an airline that I know very little about, Asiana. I'm really looking forward to it. One of the things I do know about them, they've got a fantastic livery and I've always loved the look of their aircraft. That's why I'm keen to fly. So uh, you stick around here in, uh, in Adelaide. I'm going to Seoul. Join me and then don't forget to watch Jeb's uh, video because uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Although I'm biased, it may not be good at all. It was so good to catch up with Jeb and his wife Suzanne. They're great friends and I love the little aviation and travel community that our respective channels have created. I'll put the link to Jeb's channel in the description below. We made it to Sydney, all checked in and ready to fly. The crew is just turning up over here, they're just coming off the bus. I love Sydney Airport's International Terminal because it's got great views of the aircraft activity outside. I then went to have a look at today's ride, the Asiana 777 but the angles weren't great. So here's a few shots that I took in Seoul before my flight back to Australia, which better show off this magnificent livery. Let's hope it doesn't disappear altogether when ASEAN's proposed merger with Korean Airlines finally happens. It's time to fly new airline and heading to a country that I have seen very little of. In fact, two days in Seoul, 26 years ago, was the only time that I've experienced Korea. So really looking forward to that. Hello, Hi. how are you? Thank you. This is the business class cabin. I'll be flying this on the way home. So there'll be a review of this on my channel next, straight after this one. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ajana Airlines flight 602 Bamford Hall in Chang International Airport. Our flight time will be 10 hours and 20 minutes. It was all going so well until we stopped and waited and waited and then came this. This is your captain speaking from the Friday. You are returning to the gate due to the technical forum. For the information will be provided at the gate. Uh, thanks for understanding and patience. Long story short, we eventually returned to the gate and the engineers got to work, but we were never told what the actual problem was. I, of course, took this time to look out at the planes. Some 90 minutes after our scheduled departure, we made our way back to the runway and took off for Seoul. Because of the delay, I think the crew knew we'd be thirsty, so straight after takeoff, a choice of water or orange juice was served. We've made it, we're in the air, we're on our way to Seoul. Cheers, here's to one sensational flight. Nice, orange juice. 
Now that we're up in the air, let's have a closer look at this Arciani Economy Class cabin. The seats are laid out in a 333 configuration. While the seats were comfortable, I found the whole colour scheme made the aircraft look a bit old and dated. Maybe it's a 777 thing, and their A350s and A380 cabins look more modern. That said, the seats had all the expected bells and whistles, including seat back entertainment screens, USB charging, and a PowerPoint. There was a good amount of legroom and an extra large storage compartment. The recline was reasonable and the headrest fully adjustable. Not long after takeoff, lunch was served. For me, flying a Korean airline, there was only one sensible choice bibimbap. The footage is a bit shaky as we hit turbulence, but the leaflet explains how to prepare bibimbap by adding the sauce and sesame oil and mixing the rice with all the other ingredients. The end result is a nutritious bit of Korean heaven. It was served with soup and some cold egg roll. With so much effort put into the main course, dessert was no more than a token effort. After lunch, I cranked up the entertainment system. In theory it was touch screen, but I'd obviously lost my touch and it was easier to use the remote. I watched a couple of movies, but then later in the flight I found the very retro gaming section and relived my youth, although not very well. In terms of music choices, I'd say bring your own. Some of the best entertainment though was looking out the window as we flew over far north Queensland and the Great Barrier Reef. At some stage during the flight, snacks in the form of ham and cheese rolls were offered. The lovely Arsiani crew would also come around with juice and water. Each passenger was also provided with an amenities kit which contained slippers and a toothbrush. And here it is, the thing that you've all been waiting for, the bathroom, toilet and lavatory tour of the uh, ASEAN Airlines Economy Class 777-200. Uh, look at this lighting, a nice sort of Hollywood theme there, big mirror, some tissues, lots of cups, although I wouldn't drink the water. Uh, hand towel dryers, whatever we call them, cones, something here, facial and hand lotion, there's a baby change facility, the toilet, the toilet seat covers, some drawers here with extra tissues and extra toilet paper and another mirror here with handles so if you're struggling and you're straining you've got something to brace against I assume it is to help you up or to uh, in case there's turbulence there you go there is the bathroom toilet tour bet you enjoyed that didn't you that was good about an hour and a half before descent another meal was served I went with a chicken curry and it was very tasty. Then, as a final treat before landing, I found out that Koreans love a bit of group exercise. A stretching video was played on the entertainment system and most people followed along nicely. I really think Qantas should start doing this. Passed off the plane. That was a really lovely flight. Thank you very much. That was nice. 12 hours in, uh, thank you. Bye bye. 12 hours in uh, seat 40k. We got there in the end. Uh, comfortable, comfortable flight. Enjoyed that one. Now I'm off to explore Korea. Can't wait to have a good look around. And then I'm back on board ASEAN in their business class back to Sydney. Uh, but that is for another video. So uh, do subscribe if you haven't done so and you'll be the first to uh, know when my new videos come out. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know whether you've flown Arciana and uh, what the experience was like. Until next time, happy travels.